Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. So I have a, kind of an interesting gadget to review today. This is a, a reverse osmosis UV water filter system that's a countertop system from a company called Simpure. Now it is fairly large. I don't think I'll probably end up using it in my RV. I have very limited counter space. But I decided it might be worth reviewing because a number of people may have interest in it. I was actually kind of interested to see how it works myself. So in this video, I'm going to go through its specs and features. And then we're going to give you a demo of it in action, how it works, how you fill everything up, that sort of thing. And then I also might kind of disassemble it and kind of see what makes it tick. I'm kind of curious about how the inner workings look. So basically, this thing... We'll take your water, you fill up the back part of it. Right here, there's a five liter feed tank, which is about 1.5 gallons. Um, so you fill that up. And then what it does is it filters that water through a filter and then an RO filter and fills up a little 0.45 gallon internal pure water reservoir. So it, it kind of takes a few minutes to do that and then on the front there's some LED buttons, touch screen buttons that you push and you can set different amounts of water to come out and you have a nice pure water. Uh, so it's basically gets rid of all the nasty contaminants. Here's viruses, bacteria, heavy metals, some different chemicals, uh, your dissolved solids. So you know if you're down in the desert or something or you're somewhere where there's a lot of iron or hard hard water it'll get rid of all that which is really helpful if you're making coffee or cooking and you don't get all that kind of mineral mineral taste in your food or your beverages um, also it looks like it's been certified by this company SGS so I looked that up and they're kind of a fancy Swiss certification company that's been around for ages so that's a good thing let's go down here you can see it's very easy basically plug and play kind of installation and also one of its features is it doesn't uh, it doesn't have much wastewater so a lot of these things when when they're doing reverse osmosis water filtering you it'll filter water but then there's wastewater to get rid of so once it goes through that back tank um, it'll leave some in the bottom of that tank that you have to dispose of and then refill it and you're good to go again go down here so we can see what's in the box here comes with a pair of filters there's the tank um, about 15 pounds so not too heavy at all but the dimensions 17 by 15 by 7.4 so for me it, you know I put it on the counter in my RV and it just was kind of huge so it's gonna be a little tough for me but other people have larger RVs or even at their home may be interested in it uh country region of manufacture us warranty one year power usage is only 30 watts for people that are interested for off-grid stuff 1.3 gallons filter life they're saying six months and then there's two filters in there you've got a just a carbon filter cartridge and then the ro filter and you can see we're looking at about 23 bucks there and 35 dollars there so anyway, let's get to uh, looking at the unit itself and I'll fill her up with water and we'll, we'll see how she works. There we go. So it came out of the box, no real assembly required other than this, which has kind of has a magnets there that hold it in place. That's the drip tray. That's where you put your glass spout. Like I said, it's about 15 pounds, not very heavy at all. See how tall it is. Yeah, right around 17 inches. And then deep, same deal, right around 17 inches. And how wide? About seven and a half inches. So like I say, it takes up a fair amount of space. If you had a if you had a, a nice little area or counter, it'd be okay, but we have a really weird kitchen counter in our RV, so it may be able to go in the bedroom bathroom area there is a kind of a dresser that has a flat top that we did I guess it was meant for a TV that we don't use it at all for much 
Anyway, let me give you a look at the, the back guts here. Here's the business end of it. So when you go to fill it up, you whip that up like that. This thing has a handle and this part just comes out. And you go fill that up with water. Come and put it back. You can see there's the two filters there. Composite filter and RO filter. So all you do is you'd fill that up in the sink or whatever, come back, put that in place, and you'd be ready to go. So let's take it inside the RV and we'll give her a, a test run. Oh, by the way, I should say, um, I've already done what they call the flushing. When you get new filters, the filters are both brand new, you have to fill this thing up and then let it run the whole thing through three to five times just to get rid of it. You know, a lot of times if it's a carbon filter, there's some kind of black carbony stuff that goes through there, but that, you just run it through. There's a thing on the front that says flushing and some directions to do it. So I've already done that, so we're ready to uh, purify some water and test it out. Got myself a total dissolved solids meter here, so we'll be able to test the, the tap water or even water that's been filtered through my normal filtering and uh, compare it to this RO machine. Okay, so I filled the back reservoir and we'll just plug it in up here. So power, first plug it in, it comes on and it goes through a bit of a cycling and does some flushing. You can see here where it says flushing and then it will do some filtering and prepare itself to dispense water. Basically it's taking the water from back there and it's uh, running it through the filters and then there's a pure water reservoir up here. So it's to go through its little process and it'll be ready to go. Let's see it's switched to filtering now. Is that for a bit? And then once that's done, it's all set up. So it's not really on demand, but it's constantly replenishing its uh, internal pure water reservoir in there. Okay, she's ready to go. So you can hold this and do a manual fill, or you can pick 180 milliliters, 250, or 450. So we'll just press... Uh, 350 milliliter here. That should auto dispense me some water. Tastes quite nice. So I'm going to do a little comparison here. I have some water that I got out of my normal filtration and UV system. So this is water in California at a town called Mojave. It has a lot of uh, scale in it, minerals, so it's quite high in total dissolved solids. You know, it's the city water, so it's safe to drink, but uh, kind of gives a kind of a flatter taste. Um, versus this. So we'll just get my meter and we'll compare the... I've run this water through this machine and it's gotten rid of a lot of that uh, mineral uh, minerals in the water. Okay, so on the left here we have the Mojave tap water. It's been run through my filtration system and we have 405 parts per million, which is quite high. Go into here, and what are we reading in here? Looks like 20 parts per million, so dramatic difference in the total dissolved solids. So it seems to do the job quite well at uh, removing the, the heavy minerals in the, the hard water. Let's maybe uh, go through here and show you how it uh, has to regenerate. We'll put up another cup here and we'll have to refilter some once it gets too low. I 
here you can see it's starting to filter now because it's I've exhausted its internal pure reservoir so now it has to go and take some from here and then filter it back into the pure reservoir to fill it up again. Not too loud. So I've been filling cups here. It seems to be able to keep up with filling you know, this uh, 350 milliliter cup. So say you had to dish out, I've done about six cups, so say you had to dish out water to all the family. It seems to be able to keep up with that. Okay, at about the eighth cup in a row there, I got a kind of a warning, it said water shortage up here. There we go. Pure water shortage, so then you just have to wait for it to keep filtering. Well, like I say, it did quite a few cups before that happened. So, now I've got a new symbol flashing, it says change water, gave me a little bit of a beep. Which means my reservoir must be drained down. Let's check that out. There we go. So that's basically how much uh, wastewater is left at the end of the process. Not too bad. Some important information here. Removing and emptying the feed water tank before refilling it with fresh potable water. Do not refill the tank mounted on the system directly. System will enter into a protection mode. All indicator lights flash if you keep dispensing filtered water for more than 30 minutes. Okay, so it seems to work pretty good. Now let's go out and uh, take things apart, see how this uh, sucker works. There we go. Let's so put the reservoir out. Check out these filters here. There used to be some foam here. I'm not really sure if this was packing foam or not. Or it's supposed to be there to kind of keep things from not vibrating. But anyway, up here it says open, close. So I guess you just uh, twist them. There we go. Twist. The filter's got some uh, three different, four different rubber O-rings in there. Got a little bit of a different top on it. Anyway, those are pretty easy to change. We've got some screws all the way around here. There's also some foam down here, same thing. Not sure if that was packing or probably packing. Anyway, I'm going to take this apart, have a look inside for you guys. Now, I don't recommend doing this at all. There's, of course, electrical hazards in here. You're going to avoid the warranty on your machine, of course, but I thought as part of the review it'd be a good idea to kind of see what's inside there, take a look at the quality, etc. There we go. So actually the disassembly was relatively simple. These screws here, maybe a dozen screws, all the same size. Just take them out of this thing here, then that sleeve just pulled right out. Had to take the little dispenser off, a couple screws holds it, the nozzle that dispenses the fluid. And there we go. As you can see here, under there, there's a couple of hoses on the water intakes at the bottom of the reservoir. You feed in there. There's a little baby water pump down here, pumping the water through the system. And then here's your internal reservoir that fills up. Seems to be some sort of maybe solenoid to shut the, the flow off in there. 
power board and then we got a controller board with a couple big chips on the front that's the, the touch and the light up display panel and then for power the cord goes through there and up here and there's a little power pack here so it's obviously converting the AC power maybe to a lower voltage DC let's just flip her around have a look on the other side there you can see the dispensing nozzle pipe comes up so another little water pump here I assume for when you're dispensing the water from the internal chamber purified water chamber through that up and out the nozzle it's the back end of the main pump that brings the water in from the big reservoir through the filters and I can kind of was trying to figure out how it knows when to stop you can see when this is on here there's a little float right here and there's some pickups so it's probably a, a magnetic thing that picks up the, the as this thing it loses the magnet magnetism and knows that the, the, what the water level is I guess as it comes down float comes down it's a point where these uh, pick up the, the magnet and in here we have what looks like a, a screen just to filter out any big bits in case you put any large particles in the thing but yeah it looks pretty good actually I don't really see any complaints you know everything these days is very plasticky nothing's really made of metal but keeps it lightweight there's a little speaker on there to do the beeps this thing has a little spring in it for the lid and they seem to be using this uh, quick connect hosing all throughout probably makes the manufacturing quick and easy but if you did have a leak it looks like you could uh, actually take it apart maybe service it yourself or at least get an appliance uh, repair guy to uh, fix it up for you so before I sew it up maybe we'll give you a look at the inner workings in action right now it's filtering water this is going down you can see the internal reservoir is being filled right now motor down here is pumping see a little float in there that's rising and then that has a pickup with wires on it in there back in there yes that's how it tells how much water is in the purified water reservoir another float down there oh I can hear it turn off there so I imagine that relay closed up there right there still hear that pump still going okay it's all turned off and ready to dispense so we'll give it a try now this one should turn on and pump out some water for us. Yep, that's what she's doing. Pretty cool. Well, there you go. Uh, seems to work pretty well. Not bad build quality. Goes for around, you can get it for around $2.99. It's sold on their website or Amazon. Personally, for us though, I don't think I'll be carrying it in the RV strictly because of the size. We have a smaller 30 foot fifth wheel. It just would be uh, too much of a hassle to carry it. And we're not really that uh, worried about drinking the, the water down here. We've, we're, pu we're purifying it with LED and filtering it. It's just the taste is kind of off because of the minerals. But we do spend more like eight or nine months out of the desert where we have soft water on the west coast. So for me, it's not worth it. Um, I'm going to leave it with some friends of mine in Mojave while I explore the desert the next you know several months during the winter. And I'll go back there and kind of get their opinion on it after they've used it because they've been buying bottled water and stuff like that. So this may work out good for them. 
Uh, I guess the downside is, you know, you're going to have to change those filters all the time, and that's an expense. Uh, the company seems to make a lot of different uh, things other than the tabletop, you know, countertop ones. They have under sink uh, osmosis systems as well as air purifiers, etc. And they're uh, based in uh, Seattle or Auburn, Washington, which is near Seattle. Um, you know, they have a f actual phone number for customer service, so uh, not kind of like a, a Chinese outfit or something where you're not going to get very good support. Anyway, like I say, I'll come back uh, in the early spring and uh, let you know what uh, the folks that I'm leaving this uh, system with uh, think of it. Till next time, Ray from Love You RV. Cheers, guys.